Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with that another video, completely new video for the beginners of the PT who are ready to understand the format, ready to understand the templates, tips and tricks and everything all in one. In this video, we will be understanding very soon, very shortly. So before we get into the video, if not subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button at any time you need online assistance. It's a paid assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen. We will be there. I'll be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let me just straight away get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Pearson Test of English, understanding all modules in 30 minutes. Probably it will take 40, 45 minutes because there are a lot of things. But I'll try to cover it up as quickly as possible. So let's say you don't know much about PTE, then in this video, what do we learn? A quick introduction to PTE, graphical elements, how it looks like, understanding each module, how the marks are distributed, weightage for each section, tips and tricks, and also template. We'll be looking into this video. It's a computer-based exam of two hours. There is no break in between. You get your scores usually within five days. That's what Pearson says. But in 24 hours, sometimes within four or five hours, you get your scores accepted globally for universities all across the world and especially for Australian PR it will be accepted tests speaking writing reading listening skills in a single two-hour test compared with IELTS this is a far more easier exam I don't say very easy but compared to IELTS it is less difficult and no need to speak to an examiner someone will be sitting nothing you'll be just communicating to the black box computer headset and mic will be given you don't have to carry anything apart from your passport to the examination hall this is a overview there are two boxes usually in speaking one is the recording box whatever you speak your mic you have a mic here you will have the headset and a mic when that opens here it turns into recording we will see that in just a while as well that means whatever you speak the software is able to recognize correct there is a audio status box in speaking there are modules where they play an audio in listening there are modules where they play an audio this will tell you half of the audio is done still some more audio is left you can increase this dialer this dialer to increase the volume and decrease the volume especially for your essay and few of the modules wherein you have to type something like this word count will be there you type something word count will get incremented time remaining also will be there somewhere on the top time remaining option cut copy paste for the obvious reasons you can cut you can write you can copy and you can paste three parts of the test that's how the entire test is divided into uh, first part they call it as speaking and writing they have clubbed speaking and writing together as part one this will be a lengthiest part approximately 50 55 minutes it will take as of now contains seven different question types we will see all each seven of them rather it's the longest section of the test and you will be tested on your speaking and writing skills you are allowed to take the notes we will see very shortly by the way you will be given an erasable notebook and the marker uh, keep an eye on the marker close the marker uh, with the cap if you keep it open the uh, the ink gets dried up you can always ask for another marker but let's say you're taking notes and ink gets dried up that gonna cause a lot of mess okay be watchful about this so speaking and writing over you can just take a picture of it there are seven modules read aloud repeat sentence describe image written lecture answer short question summarize written text and essay all these seven is grouped into one what these are individually we're gonna see in just a while skills assessed also we will see just a while this is for your reference you can take a picture of it times to answer prompt everything we'll discuss in just a while but you can just have a picture of it if you really want to then comes reading gonna be 25 to 30 minutes long five different question types will be there understand PT academic is an integrated exam unlike IELTS not like IELTS in IELTS listening means only listening here listening module contributes marks to listening writing reading reading module contributes marks to reading and writing writing module contributes marks to writing and reading speaking module contributes marks to speaking reading listening oh it's all integrated uh, we will see in just a while we have got five modules inside reading first is it comes in the same order by the way reading writing fill in the blanks what it is we will see and then comes multiple choice choose multiple answer reorder the paragraph reading fill in the blanks multiple choice choose single answer we will see what these are in just a while um, moving on comes after this listening eight sections are there in listening 30 to 35 minutes or sometimes 40 minutes uh, the questions are purely 
all all of them are pure you know based on audio so you have to listen and then answer you'll allow to take once and take notes and most important thing remember this you can hear the audio only once there is no previous button I select and move click next and move to the next question i cannot come back to the previous question remember this once you select it's done and dusted all right so listening overview summarize spoken text you can just take a picture of it soon we're going to study each one of them in detail summarize spoken text comes first and then multiple choice choose multiple answer fill in the blanks listening highlight correct summary multiple choice choose single answer select missing word highlight incorrect words right from dictation all of them tips and tricks templates in just a while we will study before you begin the examination right before the first section that is counted there is one more section called personal introduction this is an opportunity for you to open up to speak to start speaking to get out of all the nervousness that you possess it's like people who have starting trouble can make use of this this is not counted you're allowed to speak for 30 seconds uh, this will not be counted this will be just taken into consideration probably the senator university this is a dummy module if you really want you can talk my name is nakul today i'm here happily taking the exam i hope i clear it with 90 overall click next that's it you don't have to worry this is not scored um and then comes read aloud so before you start the read aloud right there is a section where you test the microphone most of the times everything will be working fine test your requirements there's an option you click just talk and stop the recording and play the recording you should be able to listen to your voice if you're not able to listen to your voice that means the mic is not working you need to raise your hand and ask the examiner to stop by and change the mic or change the system make sure you do that and also there will be a lot of people shouting there um, obviously it it's gonna be a little difficult to perform the exam under such an environment which is very noisy but don't have to worry your mic is capable of cancelling all the other noises so it's a noise cancellation technology included you don't have to worry you may think what if software recognizes my voice along with someone else's because mr butterball is shouting at the top of his voice who is sitting right next to me his voice will not be recorded you don't have to worry only your voice will be recorded no matter how noisy the environment is all right so saying that we'll start with read aloud will not take much of the time each section quickly we will finish it off with some tips and tricks templates and move on to the next question first comes read aloud this is the most important module six or seven questions will come make sure you have a book and a pen write it down so that you don't have to watch this video again and again 33 to 35 marks comes from this module to speaking 33 to 35 marks comes from this module to reading why reading because you're reading and you are speaking so this is an integrated module if reading score if you want more reading score a good reading score then this is the module how the module looks like it comes like something like this look at the text below in 40 seconds so beginning in 40 seconds they're going to give you 40 second this is the status box wherein it shows that right now it's time for you to prepare during this time you can speak whatever you want the mic will be off after 40 seconds let's say you started 40 seconds from now after 40 seconds the mic will be on and once the mic is on it will wait three seconds for you to speak let's say you do not speak for first three seconds fourth second microphone will turn off it will show a message their microphone turned off lot of people don't even see that they will be simply speaking nothing will be recorded and even if you speak now let's say it's beginning in 40 39 nothing will be recorded once you see the recording after 48 second it says recording or peep sound will come start speaking immediately don't have to wait one second two second it will wait three second it will wait fourth second it will turn off the microphone then there is no you know way of you know answering the very first question you have to silently disappointedly click the next button so they're going to give you a text like this they're going to give you 35 to 40 seconds to prepare after 48 second or after 35th second you have to speak when you speak again this dialer will be recording started this will be going like this like this like this when you speak probably it will again give you some 35 seconds to speak within that you need to finish but if you speak the way i teach you then it will get over before 18 to 20 seconds and once you finish don't keep quiet three seconds it will wait after you finish speaking three seconds it will wait after third second fourth second it will turn off but during those three seconds when you are silent what if that person sitting right next to you is shouting at the top of his or her voice all those will be recorded it will lead to problem the moment you finish speaking click next 
immediately done and understood read aloud. So, how to speak read aloud I have got a simple question. I will show you how to speak quickly. I will not go in detail, in depth into it. The idea is very simple. You try to be natural. Do not go fast. Do not go slow. Do not try to think it is software. I have to do this, that. No intonation. Just try to be natural. Whenever you find a difficult word, you can just skip. So, how to speak? The butterfly, delicate of nature, captivates with its exquisite. <laughs> Sorry on that, probably I was not watching, I will start from the beginning. But if you do this, definitely you are going to lose a lot of marks. So, whenever I was about to show you that I am going to skip the word, probably I fell into my own trap. I am going to skip this word, I am going to skip this word. I am going to skip all these words, will it cost me some marks? No. Fumbling should be zero, b -b 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 should not happen, you should be very fluent. The butterfly delicate marvel of nature with its transformation from a humble caterpillar as it emerges from its vibrant wings unfold, revealing a colors that dance in the sunlight. That is all that, 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 that you just be fluent, you get full marks. If you do not want to skip the words, it does not matter, you can speak those words as well. But if you fumble, you are going to lose a lot of marks. 2-3 fumbles will cost you 4-5 marks, remember this. Do not speak slow, do not speak fast, just go at a natural speed. That is all the read aloud. You want more understanding of this, get into my other videos. Read aloud only one, one and a half hour video is there in the YouTube from Skillspeedy channel. Still, if you want more support, you can join us, join our online course. From wherever you are at the moment, you can join, we, we will guide you. The second one comes is repeat sentence 10 to 12 questions will come, 30 marks to speaking, 30 marks to listening. 10 questions will come, one question gives you 3 mark to speaking. 3 mark to listening. Integrated module because you are going to listen and you are going to speak. What is repeat sentence? They are going to play an audio. They are going to play an audio. See beginning in 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 seconds, then audio plays. Once the audio ends, here probably beginning in 2, beginning in 1, then it comes recording. Then you are supposed to speak. Once the audio ends, do not speak immediately. Hope you are with me. Once the audio ends, you need to see if the recording bar is on or not. Recording bar will not be on instantly. It will take one or two seconds, after which the recording bar will be on. Then you just have to repeat exactly as you hear it. So, let us see some of the audio example, how it going to be in the exam. So, I will just play the audio. Automation is a term for technology applications where human input is minimized. Something like this comes. Automation is a term for technology where human input is minimized. It is going to be a little difficult for some people, but the idea, the simple technique that I am going to talk about here is, you do not have to speak everything. Content is least priority here, it is the fluency. So, listen probably in pieces, first few words I listen, last few words I listen and I speak or first half I listen and I speak. Speak as less as possible. Um, even if you speak full, let us say 10 words are there, you speak 10 words or you speak 6 words, you are going to get 3 only. Speaking 6 words will not give you 0, it will give you 3 out of 3, but the point is you need to be fluent. I will just show you how to do that quickly. Automation is a term for technology Automation is a term where human input is minimized. Where human input is minimum. Automation, sorry, automation is a term where human input is minimum. This will give me full marks. Whether I speak automation is a term for technology where human input is minimum, I get the same marks or I can say automation is a term where human input is minimum. Automation is a term human input is minimal minimalized, minimal, minimum, whatever you want, but do not fumble, repeat sentence is all about fluency, not the content. Check my other videos, you will completely understand how to do repeat sentence, but that is the second module for now. We we'll quickly move on to the third module called describe image, four to six questions, sometimes four, sometimes five, six, eight to ten marks to speaking, not more than that. Something like this, a picture will be given, they are going to give you twenty-five seconds to prepare. And once 25, see beginning in 25, 21, 19, 0, 1, 0, peep, then you should speak. They are going to give you 40 seconds, Tyler. To finish your response, you do not have to speak for 40 seconds. 20, 25 seconds is more than enough. You got to explain this diagram, but do not explain the diagram. You do not get marks for explaining the diagram. You get marks for fluency. So, I am going to give you a template, just take a picture of it, memorize. Fill four words here. Keyword 1, keyword 2, keyword 3, keyword 4. For the previous question, keyword 1 could be Safari, keyword 2 could be Chrome, keyword 3 could be Opera or Android. Or you can say keyword 1, Safari, keyword 2, 20 percent, keyword 3, Orange, keyword 4, Green. Anything, it does not matter. Content is least priority. Then what gives you mark? 
it is the fluency. The given image represent a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the words opera and safari. However, information present for green and yellow seems to be false. From the image, it is clear that maximum value seems to be constant, which further states the importance of the topic present in the image. In conclusion, the given image includes a complicated data and analysis. This will will give you mark, not giving right content. It's a computer which will not probably understand clearly. Like there are a lot of things here. I'll be able to share this much. Hope you are getting it. That's the third module for you. Then we go to read a lecture. As the name says, speaking and listening, this contributes marks to speaking and listening separately. One or two questions, sometimes three, but usually one or two comes. Eight to ten marks to listening, eight to ten marks to speaking. Listening is involved means the plain audio. You listen and then you speak. This is quietly, I mean, um, this is a little difficult, uh, different module, fairly different module. Uh, they are going to give an audio. That audio, after listening to the lecture, they play an audio probably for 1 minute or 2 minutes, sometimes 30 seconds, it depends. Usually, one, one and a half minute lengthy audio will be there, something like this. I know that in several laboratory experiments, scrub jays, relatives. So, like this, you listen to the audio, entire audio, and while you listen to the audio, you need to make some short notes. You write some short notes, and then once the audio ends, you will be given only 10 seconds. Look at this only 10 seconds will be given for you to prepare and after 10 seconds you are supposed to speak. The response time will be given is 40 seconds. Do not speak for 40 seconds, 25 seconds or 30 seconds is enough. Take some notes, how to take the notes, check my other videos on written lecture. This is the template that I follow, the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about whatever you written first phrase. In the beginning the speaker explained about second phrase, later speaker mentioned about the importance of third phrase. Here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that fourth phrase. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about fifth phrase. You are going to write phrases, not one one word. I do not need five words there. I need small, small sentences for you to get better marks towards your listening and not just speaking. Speaking, it is the only fluency that is counted for listening to some extent content. Avoid using one 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 word, use phrases. Do not write three, three words by putting comma. I want some small phrases. Okay, fine. We will move to the last one in the speaking that is answer short question. This contributes marks to listening and speaking because you have to listen and speak. Five to eight questions will come. This usually from my experience do not contribute any marks. Probably one mark it may give to listening and speaking. This is not a priority. The questions probably like who does cardiologist refer to? Heart surgeon. You will get one mark. Let us say I did not say heart surgeon. You can say a doctor you will get that mark. Let us say you do not know he is a doctor, what should I say? You can say I do not know the answer or you can repeat who is cardiologist. This is a dummy module, probably this will not give you any mark, 5 to 6 or 8 questions, usually 5 to 6 questions will come. Together, put together 5 to 6 questions, you may get one mark, may or most states a dummy module, do not have to prepare for this. Just say if you know the answer, if you do not know the answer, speak something relevant to the question. If you do not know anything about the question, repeat the question or have answer ready. I do not know and click next. This is not a module to be worried about. 5 modules done, now we go to 6 module. Uh, this is the answer short question. That is how it looks like, same thing as repeat sentence with the lecture, uh, audio playing, then your response. This is for your response, this is the, for the audio. Once the audio ends, response bar will open there. Once you listen to the beep sound, then only speak. Do we get beep sound in all the modules of speaking? No, only repeat sentence does not have beep sound. So, you need to open the eyes, open the eyes and check if the recording is on. One blue bar has come and then only start speaking. But the rest of the modules will have the beep, you do not have to worry. Once that recording or beep sound is on, within 3 seconds you have to start your response, not complete, start your response. If you do not start, 4th second microphone will turn off. So, with this we will move to the writing one after 5 sections of speaking comes writing because speaking and writing is together. In writing, we have two modules, summarized written text and essay. Summarized written text, one or two questions will come, contributes probably four to five marks, probably or not exceeding six combining two questions. It contributes marks to writing and reading. Do not worry about all these things, I will just show you, let us not spend much time. Uh, it looks something like this where, see, 10 minutes will be given. In 10 minutes, you have to finish the response. Here, word count is there. It should not exceed 5 to 75 words. 
do not write 6 words and all at the same time do not write 74 words, 40 to 45, 50 is ideal. The given they give you a text, you have to summarize. You do not write to summarize properly using your Einstein brain and all, no, 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 there is a way out. You try to write on your own, you will lose marks. The best way, copy paste two full sentences, just read this, full, not half, not half. So, I am sure you are not able to see this text clearly, but it is ok. Uh, after a full stop here, I am starting, starting, starting till this full stop biodiversity. First sentence done. Like this, I should do it one more time, probably failure generations. Full sentence, after a full stop till the full stop, I have taken two full sentences. First sentence and add a comma, first sentence done, add a comma and add A and D. add a second sentence, put a full stop. Take two full sentences between, I have missed this, very sorry, very sorry, between first sentence and second sentence, between them add a comma and a connector and or but, use A in the and, in the end put a full stop. That is how it looks like, first sentence, comma and second sentence, full stop. That is all summarized written text, exactly copy paste, do not try to use your own vocabulary thinking, it will give more marks, it will get confused and give you less marks, remember this. And then comes essay, essay is not the one that contributes lot of marks towards your writing. Writing marks will come from reading and listening, remember this. Essay is a low priority module, max 20 marks, that too if you have got two questions. If one questions, 12 marks or 14 marks you can consider. How we are evaluated from 2 marks, 200 to 300 words you write, 201 is enough, do not have to write fine, you know, 299 words. Content is 3 marks, not a priority development structure and coherence, you do not have to worry, I will give a template that will cover this. Grammar, do not have to worry, I will give a template that will cover this. General linguistic range, do not have to worry, I will give a template that will cover this. Vocabulary, Nakul, we understood, we have do not have to worry because you are giving a template, yes, that is correct. Spelling, you have to worry. <laughs> Spelling in the form is where you need to uh, retain your focus on. Spelling is the one that decides your score you wrote an essay proper content and 10 spelling mistakes, you are going to get 0. Content is not a priority, remember. So, just it looks like this, any question can come, do not go behind questions. Content is not a priority because it is a software that is going to evaluate you, correct. To what extent has technology impacted our society and the way we communicate with one another. Anything you write here, the word count will be displayed, you will be knowing how many words you have entered. 20 minutes will be given for your essay, within 20 minutes you have to finish. Let us say I am not able to finish, 20 minutes is over and I did not click the next button, what will happen? It will be auto saved, you do not have to worry. This is the template, take a picture, you can check my any of the essay videos, one hour essay video, how to write, how to avoid grammatical mistakes, everything is there. If you are completely a beginner, then just copy paste the exact template, just take a screenshot. There are 5 sentences, 1, very sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All I need you to do is to write 5 sentences. Avoid using only 1 keyword, 2 keyword, you do not get marks with the recent update in the month of November 2023. You need to write 5 sentences relevant to the question. Here it is, dialogue on topic. My view is that irrespective of the numerous argument that exists on either side, tell your view. There are more advantages than disadvantages, law changes human behavior for whatever the question. So, simple one, five sentences you write, rest all you copy paste using a set template done and dusted. You can take a picture of it, I have given you a reference on how to write the essay. So, just have a picture, that is enough. Uh, I have given an example for uh, is light pollution good or bad or something of this. Any question, do not do not worry about the question, something about light pollution you write, but when you write, use the template, write uh, five sentences. The first sentence I have written is a simple sentence, second sentence I have written and becomes a compound sentence, third sentence as complex sentence. So, basically I am mixing simple, compound, complex. You can check my other videos to understand what is a simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence. Have a mixture of simple, compound, complex in the five sentences that you write. This will probably take you some 220 words, more than enough essay is done and dusted. Remember essay is not the module that contributes heavily towards your writing. Next, we will talk about reading module. The first comes reading and writing fill in the blanks. The name says fill in the blanks, but it contributes marks to reading and writing. 5 to 6 questions, 25 to 30 marks you can expect to reading, 25 to 30 marks separately to writing means around 50, 55 marks. This is the module which scores a lot and it looks something like this. 
they are going to give you a text, a plank will be there, here there will be a, a drop down icon. You click on that, four options will be listed. Now, read the paragraph and accordingly choose which one of them, first or second or third or fourth. You need to select which one of them fits the best. You need to apply grammar, collocation, reading skills, lot many things. Reading FIB is like, in our course, it is like more than 800 hour of course is that it is a very big thing. Uh, but yes, if you want to know more about it, you can join our course or you can check my other videos where I have given strategies for reading FIB, reading, writing, fill in the blanks. By the way, this is reading, fill in the blanks, contributes marks to reading and writing. This comes first, five to six questions will be there. And then comes multiple choice, choose multiple answer, a paragraph, question. Choose multiple, choose more than one, I do not choose more than one. Should I read? Do not read. Randomly select one and move on. This is a dummy module. This will not give you more marks. It will not give marks at all. You focus here by giving 2-3 minutes, gone case. The next comes reading, fill in the blanks, contributes 30-35 marks to reading. There you will have less time. All these modules are intentionally introduced so that you spend less time on the important modules. These are all not so important modules. Just select one and quickly move on. Total timer would be around 30 minutes. Number of questions into two. If there are 15 questions into 2 will be given within 30 minutes, it is so difficult unless you skip these modules. Remember, the entire reading is timed. Okay? So, next comes reorder the paragraph, max 2 or 3 questions, 5 to 6 marks to reading, max. Not a priority, you do not have to worry, but what is the module about? They are going to give you a text like this, a paragraph. From top to bottom, you read, it does not make sense. Your job is to rearrange them so that from top to bottom you read it makes sense. Uh, using a mouse, you need to press this and pull this up and down, pull this up and down. Probably the correct answer for this is C, B, D, A. That is the correct answer. Every pair that you select will give you one mark, but from left to right, remember, remember, remember from left to right. Have you got C, B in the first pair? You get one mark. Have you got B, D in the second pair? If yes, you can get one more mark. Have you got DA in the third pair? You are going to get one more mark. Three marks like this, E can be there, F can be there. Usually, four is minimum, six is max. Four, five will be there, A, A to E or A to D. Let us say this is your answer and you wrote D, A, C, B. Now, how the scoring is done? This two will be checked. C, B to D, A, not matching. B, D to A, C, not matching. D A to C B, not matching, 0 marks. But how about the last answer? Let us say you selected B C D A. So, now C B to B C, not correct. B C C B, both are different. B D to C D, not correct. D A to D A, correct. Pay more attention, pay more attention. This D A, same as this D A, you are going to get one mark. It is not simply the pair matching, it is the ordering of the pair. Be very careful. Not a priority, do not spend more than 1.5 minutes to this question reorder the paragraph. If you are getting confused, randomly select one and move on. Do not worry too much about it. This is not a priority. And then comes reading, fill in the blanks. This contributes marks to your reading alone. The first module, reading, writing, fill in the blanks, contributes marks to reading and writing both. Both of them almost similar, but here we have generic sum options. Probably this will go here, this will go here. You have to drag it using the mouse. One option can be used only once. But in the reading, writing, fill in the blanks, if you remember, each blank will have four options. Here, each blank will not have options. Overall, some eight options will be given, five blanks will be there, or four blanks will be there. Six options will be given, four blanks will be there, two are traps. This also involves reading FIB, uh, which is pure grammar collocation, reading skills and lot many things. There are thousands of strategies for this. Check out my other videos, you will understand more about it. And then this is all, um, the last model is choose single answer. Same as choose multiple answer, paragraph will be given one question, but here you are supposed to select only one. There you can select two, but do not select. There select one, here also select one and move on. Dummy module is not going to give you any mark. Okay. And then comes listening. The first is summarize spoken text. This is similar to read a lecture in speaking. One to two questions, max six to eight marks, not a priority. Audio will be played. You listen to the audio, make some notes and then give a response. Since you listen and then write, this contributes six to eight marks to listening, six to eight marks to writing separately. Word count, 50 to 70 words, not more than that. Ideally, I would suggest in an ideal you know, like environment, 65, 66 words, 67 words is more than enough. 
Use a template, I am going to help you. Strategy, everything is, remains as the written lecture, but do not use the same template as written lecture. Evaluation, content is 2 marks. Yes, you need to write some small sentences or phrases just like you do in the written lecture. Form 50, 70 words. Grammar is important, vocabulary not important, spelling is very, very important. So, you listen to the audio, just make some notes and then make some nice beautified, write some sentences. Use this template. The talk was about write a sentence here, firstly the speaker talked about write second sentence here, later speaker said write third sentence here, furthermore the speaker provided imperative information on write fourth sentence here, in the end the speaker left an important note on write the fifth sentence here. There should not be any grammatical mistakes, you make grammatical mistakes marks will go down, avoid using one, 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 one word for each blank, listening score will go down, use template use phrases and not keywords. Remember this, no spelling mistakes, 60 70 words is ideal, I would suggest 65 plus and less than 70. Avoid using 1 1 words, you need to write sentences, you need to be trained for this. So, audio looks something similar to written lecture audio, so I did not play similar to written lecture audio. If you really want, let us listen to it. To dig up the food later and so, you will listen to it and just make some notes and then transform it into a template. And then comes multiple choice, choose multiple answer. Like in reading module I told, there are dummy modules intentionally put, so that you spend your useful time into not so important modules, so that you get less time to the important modules, so that you fail in the exam, swipe your card and give the exam again. BUSI and AWS business, correct? So, the same thing, this is that module which do not give you any score. So, choose multiple answers, same as reading, but here you they play the audio and then they have a question and more than one answer has to be selected. Listen to the question, the next button will not be activated immediately. In reading, it will be activated, in listening, it will not be activated. So, you cannot get, you cannot select next button un unless the audio ends, until the audio ends rather. So, listen to the audio, read the question, try doing it, once the audio ends, be ready with the answer. I am still not getting the answer, do not spend even extra one second, randomly select one and move on. They say negative marking is there for this module, no negative marking, we have all tested this, whatever Pearson says is not true to our experience. Select one and move on, that is what you are supposed to do to this module. Listening fill in the blanks, one or two questions or maybe three questions can come, contributes 12 to 15 marks to listening, 12 to 15 marks to writing. Very simple module, um, the play and audio, these blanks are filled in audio listen to the audio and fill these blanks. Every blank you write correctly with the correct spelling, you get two marks. One will go to listening, one will go to writing. I will just show you for the first one. Let us do this very simple one. Education is one of the most valuable resources that an individual can possess. Can possess. Now, possess spelling problem. P-O-S-S-E-S-S or P-O-S-E-S-S. P-O-S-S, E-S-S, you write this, you get 2 marks, you write this, you get 0 marks. Like this, 10 to 12 or 15 blanks will be there. Every correct word will give you the correct score. There are lot of strategies using grammar we can fix, you can check my other videos for the same. Highlight correct summary, dummy module, do not even try to understand what the module is about, but here I will just tell you, probably you need to listen to the audio, listen to the recording and which among these options best summarizes the audio. Do not put your Einstein in the brain into this. If you can, well and good, but you need to get the answer the moment the audio ends, probably 1.5 minutes the audio plays. After 1.5 minutes, you need to be ready with the answer. If you are not, then randomly select one and click next button immediately and move on to the next question. Getting it? Not This will not score. Choose single answer, do the same as the previous one. Listen to the audio, ready with the answer. If you do not know the answer, do not spend extra time, randomly select one and move on. Select missing word. This is also a dummy module. The plain audio, towards the end of the audio, he is saying something. The king was supposed to be peep, it will come. King was supposed to be what? Supposed to be good, supposed to be dead, supposed to be eaten, supposed to be fled. We do not know. Get the context and then choose. If you are able to, then select. If you are not, randomly select one and click the next button and move on to the next question. This is the dummy module, not going to give you any marks. You got to trust me, guys. <laughs> okay? Do not practice for all these modules. After this comes highlight incorrect words. Very important module, 2 to 3 questions, 12 to 15 marks to listening and 12 to 15 marks to reading.
because you got a read boss, you got a read. What is this highlight incorrect words? They are going to give you a paragraph. Some 12 seconds will be given, 10 seconds, once 10 seconds is done, audio plays. You got to listen to the audio through your ears of course and you got to read through your eyes. Whatever you listen, whatever you read. If there is a mismatch, select that one. I will just show you a small example. We will just play this. Elephant tusks evolved from teeth, giving the species an evolutionary advantage. They serve a variety of purposes, digging, lifting objects, gathering food, stripping bark. Hope you are getting it. Elephant tusks evolved was the word, involved is written here. They serve a variety of purpose, here they do a variety of purpose. Gathering food, gathering tusks, like this something will be there, just do a single tap. Using a mouse tool, single tap, not double tap. If you single tap, it will get highlighted in yellow. If you double tap, it will deselect. You have to highlight. Negative marking is there. What is this negative marking? Let us say there are three correct words here. You select all three correct words. You have to get three marks to listening, three marks to reading, let us say. But what you did, you selected this also, which is not an incorrect word. Now you get 3 minus 1. Negative marking is only when you select a word which is not an incorrect word. But how about, I did not select one of the correct words, one of the incorrect words. I was supposed to select this, but I missed it. Do I get negative marking? No. 2 out of 2 you get. Though there are 3 answers, you selected 2 correctly, you get marks. Problem is only when you select something which is not an incorrect word. So, idea is in doubt do not even venture to select it. If it is wrong, negative marking is there, be very careful. One of the most important modules. Elephant After this comes right from dictation, we are almost at the verge of finishing the video. Three or four questions and this is the big boss. To reach here, you need to do all kinds of fight, war, everything because to reach here, once you reach here, you need to have three or four. I would prefer always four minutes left on the right hand side timer here. 4 minutes should be left. If 1 minute is left, you cannot finish 3 questions. This module contributes. See here, 40 to 45 marks towards your listening and 40 to 45 marks towards your writing separately. Probably 85 to 90 marks. If you do not reach here because choose single answer, highlight correct summary, you are putting your Einstein head into it. Then here by the time you come, 1 minute will be left. You cannot solve. Be very careful, this is the module to reach here with 4 or 5 minutes left, you have to do whatever I told before. If you have skipped the video or binge watching Netflix by that time, rewind the video and watch it. It is very, very important. Hope you are getting it. So, what is this right from dictation? They play an audio since it contributes to listening and writing. So, it involves listening and writing. You, They play an audio, listen to the audio and write exactly as it is. Very simple, I will give you an example, listen to this. The cat meowed loudly as it played with the toy. The cat meowed loudly as it played with the toy. 10 words. You write the, you get one mark. In fact, two, one to listening, one to writing. You write cat, you get one mark. Meowed exact spelling. What if I write M E O W? Will I get marks? No, 100 percent no. Loudly as it play. If I write Play, will I get marks? No, played only with the toy. What if I miss this the? Can this the can give two marks? No. So, the idea is exactly as it is, you need to write to get the marks. But there are a lot of strategies. I made many videos. You can add extra words, you can add extra spellings, you can do what whatever you want. You can write in different order. You can write meowed loudly, toy the with played it as cat the still you will get full marks. Check my right from dictation video, you will have better understanding. I think that is all. I promise 30 minutes, you know me right. Probably 40 minutes it has taken, very sorry, but I really believe if you are a beginner, you are not a beginner anymore and you are not even intermediate, you are at advanced level because you understood the format, you understood the templates, you understood tips and tricks, strategies and what not. Well guys, if you really love the content that you just watched, do leave your appreciation with a thumbs up. It definitely acts as a motivator for us to come up with more informative content like this to help you all. And yes, we will be waiting to view your valuable comments in the comment section too. Fine guys, this is Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academic. Nakul by the way, N A K U L. If not subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button soon. I will be back till then. Take care. Bye bye.